In this video, I'll show you how to build the perfect 10-minute Notion dashboard for task management, what essential features you need to make task management quick and easy, and how do you set it up so you stay organized without feeling overwhelmed? Because if you don't create an all-in-one task management solution, we'll keep wasting time switching between dozens of apps, leaving us distracted and less productive which we don't want. All right, so here's our blank screen. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a task database. So I'm going to do forward slash database. And here I'm going to click on table view and I'm going to click on new table. What we want here is all of our tasks. Now this will be connected to our calendar. So for our tasks here, I'm just going to rename this table here to tasks. And if we want, we can change this icon here. So let's just do a circle for the uncompleted tasks. Now I'm going to click on the plus here to add a property. So if you don't know, properties in Notion are the same things as columns. So this property here is going to be a simple checkbox. And I'm just going to do a space bar for this, but this is simply going to be if the task is complete or not. So I'll just drag that to the side here and I'll just do a fake task, task one, just so we can see how it looks. What you really want is a calendar. So what we're going to do is create a calendar. Now, instead of clicking new calendar, we actually want to use an existing database and we're going to use this task list that we just created. So I'll search for tasks and click on this one here and close that. So this database here, the calendar is actually the same as this. So what I can do is go up here and click on the three dots and make this full width. And what I want is a few different views of this calendar. Now, the first thing to notice here is because we created this calendar view, automatically this date here got created. And that makes total sense. For a calendar to exist, we need a date property. So I'll just drag this to the side. So this here is my task list. Then I have my calendar. So if I add, let's say task one to today, it will not only appear here, but if I scroll up, you can see task one appearing here. So what I want to do here is change the calendar view to show if it's been completed or not. I want to know if this has been ticked in. So what I'll do is click on these three dots and click on properties. And here I say, I want to show this here. So I'll click on this eyeball icon. Now you can see that I can see if task one has been checked in or not. So if I tick this in, you can see it's been ticked in here as well. So now the next step is to add another view to this calendar here. So right now I'm seeing the full month, which is really useful if I'm thinking about the entire month and I'm trying to plan it out, but I also just wanna see the week. So what I'll do is right click on calendar view and I'll rename this and I'll call this month view. And now I'll right click on this again and do duplicate. And this here will be week view. So here, I only want to see the week. So to make that happen, I'll click on the three dots here. I will click on layout. And here I'm going to change it from show calendar as month to show calendar as week. So now I'm just seeing this week. And if I want, I can use this to scroll through the weeks or I can just click on the today button and automatically jump to today's date. So now I have my month view, I have the week view and I have my task list. Now what I want to do here is right click on tasks and do duplicate. And here I want to have uncompleted. So under this tab, I only want to see the tasks that I haven't done. So what I'll do here is just add task two. This here, task one has been completed. In order for me to do that, I'm going to use a filter. Now, if you're new to Notion, filters might sound scary, but you have three really powerful features in Notion. You have filters, you have sorting, and you have groups. So what we're going to do is click on filter. And what we're going to do is filter this tab here, the uncompleted by this, the checkbox. So I'm saying on this tab here, I only wanna see the tasks that are unchecked. So now I'm no longer seeing task one. So tasks here, as you can see, I can see task one here as well. So what I'll do is rename tasks here to all tasks. This will be absolutely everything. Then in uncompleted, I'll see all the tasks that I haven't done yet. Now let's say if I've scheduled this for tomorrow, I'm seeing this here. So under the uncompleted, I'm seeing whether it's been scheduled or not, as long as it's uncompleted. Now what I'm going to do is right click on uncompleted and we're going to do another one called unscheduled. So under the unscheduled, just like it sounds, I want to now add a filter where I'm seeing the stuff that hasn't even been scheduled. So this will be everything that I haven't completed nor have I scheduled for the future. So task two here, I haven't completed it but I have scheduled it so I don't want to see it. So I'm going to click on the filter here. Now, because we duplicated this uncompleted tab, you can see that this unchecked filter is still here. When you duplicate a tab, the filters on that tab stay with it. 
So the unscheduled already has this unchecked filter added to it. So I wanna keep that and then I wanna add a new filter. And here I'm going to change where the start date is empty. So now on unscheduled, I see tasks that I haven't completed and I haven't even scheduled. So if I add task three here, you can see it's unchecked and there's no date. But if I decide to schedule it, it will get removed. So I'll add one more task here, task four. So you're going to plan out your week. So you'll go to your unscheduled tab. And what you'll do here is schedule out these tasks. So there's two ways of doing that. We can either click on the date and then let's say I'll do this tomorrow. As you can see, it automatically jumps here. Or we can literally just drag this task. So I'll just drag task four onto Thursday and it gets removed from here. But if I click on all tasks, I can still see it here. We're not moving it from this database to this database. This is the exact same database, which you can see here. It's called tasks and this is called tasks. So now we have a calendar with the week view and the month view, and we have the tasks with all of our tasks, the uncompleted tasks and the tasks that are unscheduled. The last thing that we want for a really good task management system in Notion is a daily time boxing feature. So I'll do forward slash and type database as per usual. And then here I'm going to click on table view. And once again, we are not clicking on new table. We want to select this database again. So here I can see it coming up in the recent tasks for basic OS. So I'll click on that. And now I can say, which view do you want to see? So I'm going to click on the all tasks view. So right now, because I duplicated this view here, the all tasks view, it doesn't have any filters for it. For my daily time boxing, also known as time blocking, what I want to do is only see tasks that are for today. So I'm going to right click on all tasks here and rename and I'll call this time blocking. I can change this icon here and I'll just do this triangle and I want the setting where the start date is relative to today, this, and then we'll change week to day. So now it's only showing me stuff that is scheduled for today. So here you can see task one and task one is appearing here. And if I drag task three to today, you can see it automatically jumps here. This is really, really useful. Now, when we are time blocking in Notion, there's a few different ways to do it. We can actually do it in here and do include time. And here we can select the specific time. Now this is quite useful, but it can get a bit uh, technical. And it's a bit harder to work quickly with. So the way I prefer doing it is to actually have another property, which is just a simple text property. And this here will be time. So what I'll do is drag this here to the side and I'll drag the date to the very left hand side. So here we have the date and all of them will obviously be today's date. Then here we have the checkbox and I don't want to add a filter to this saying only show me the ones completed because I want to know the stuff that I've completed today as well. And then here I have the time 9am here. So I can literally plan out my day here. I can time block my day. Time blocking is a really important feature in your daily task management. So now we have your time blocking up here. Now, if you want to hide this task's name here, what we can do is click on the three dots, click on layout. And here it says show database title. We can simply turn that off. So now I have time blocking and this is my day today. And of course, like I said, I can drag task two here and it automatically appears. I have my week view. I have my month view. And down here I have my task list with all tasks the tasks that haven't been completed and the tasks that haven't been scheduled. If you want to take your Notion skills to the next level, then check out my course. It is your exact guide on how to build a second brain from scratch in Notion. It covers everything that I've learned about genuine productivity. We'll click on this video here to see the trailer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped.